Hey guys, what's up? Thought I would do a Kudurin collection video because I have a little handful of them and I think they're a lot of fun, so I figured why not share a little bit of them. And uh, right off the bat, two things. First thing is, yes, I will be calling all of them Kudurin because I know Comcell has that name trademarked and stuff, but they're kind of the first ones on the scene, so every toy like that to me is still that in my head. So hopefully that's not too offensive for anybody. The second thing is, now I'm, I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, but I do have a little pet peeve that everyone is pronouncing it even, not everyone, a lot of people are pronouncing it even more incorrectly. So you're probably thinking like, Ben, yo, like you're a white dude, why do you care? Good point. You're like, I shouldn't care. Like, Ben, why, why don't you just let people say it how they want to say it? You're right. I'm a bit of a nerd, and if this bothers you, I'm sorry, but here's the thing. So when, when you look at how Kururin is spelled out and how it's pronounced by Japanese players, it's, it's normally pronounced more like Kururin. 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 Kururin desu. With the emphasis on the rin part. Kururin. Kururin desu. And Kururin. Here's the thing. A lot of people are saying Kuruin. Now, Karuin bothers me for primarily one reason, and that's because they're missing the second R. If you look at the, the Romaji, that's like the, the way that the, um, the Japanese characters are converted into Roman or, or English letters, there is Ku, Ru, Rin. Ku, Ru, Rin. So there's two R's in there. It's not Karuin, it's Kururin. Now, I say it, I don't say it like the Japanese people do but I'm at least trying to get it at least a little bit closer to the original pronunciation. I think you might consider doing that as well. Quick Japanese lesson, if you look at the katakana, that's the, the, the phonetic like alphabet that they're using to spell out kururin. It is four characters, it's ku, and then it's ru, and then it's ri, and then it's n. The n is, is, is to kind of finish up, so it's four ones. Ku, ru, ri, n, kururin. So anyway, just a quick lesson on how to say it. Uh, if any of you are still watching, thank you for sticking around. Let's get into some of my collection. I'm outside and this table's all wobbly and not straight, so I'm not gonna be able to do a lot of tricks or anything, but I wanna just show you some of them and like the stories about them, so. Sorry about that. Okay, so first one is the Comcell original. Kururin, Kururin. This is the original one. This started everything, I believe, and it's great. Really cool, awesome to have the original one. I, I must have gotten a later batch because mine doesn't have the katakana underneath it. This guy's pretty special. It started this big little, this big little craze of kururin. So I wanted to mention that one first. I definitely think you should support Comcell and the original guys who put that together. The first, the first one that I actually got though was this one. This is a Uptown Joe walnut and oak, I think, or walnut and maple maybe. And I have our, our low rose pads on this guy. And I believe the Sweets Jammers are based off of this shape, which is super nice shape. I think it, it works really well. I think it's really cool. I like it a lot. And yeah, that was the first one that I got. The second Kururin that I got was this Terra, made out of oak. If you saw my other video, I got this one because I have a sword made out of oak, white oak, and I just thought it was cool. And this one's a little chunkier. Again, I have the Lobros pads on these, which work really great. Our, our pads work super good on almost all of the standard size uh, Kukururin. So these two are very special to me because, because they're hand turned. This one is my Lunatac. This was the first batch of Lunatac. And if you notice, it's pretty snazzy. It's got all kinds of like cool stuff on there. And again, Lobros pads that are a little bit too small, but they still work all right. And this is a little bit bigger overall. I believe the second batch are made out of beach, for Lunatec uh, are made out of beach, and they have like a, a ring pad, which is kind of cool. So you can see there's a logo under here that I can't see with this. So there's my, and this was made out of paddock, so it's pretty cool. And then I have a couple that I got from a guy who has an Etsy shop. Uh, called Frugal Shave. He does like all these cool 3D printed stuff and he sent me two. He sent me this one, which is just kind of a 3D printed one. He's got these cool foam pads and this one's super light and works really nice and it's pretty neat. It doesn't, and then he also sent me this one, which has actual removable ends that are weighted. And this rolls super, like the way that it rolls is pretty cool. I, I, I enjoy the different feel of this 3D printed material. Is kind of fun as well so uh, but this one is definitely very unique and uh, I still I still need to send him uh, a couple of hours I still need to send him a couple of our 
Cooterins. I will be doing that shortly. So check out Frugal Shave on Etsy if you haven't already. These guys are awesome, but they don't like to stand up with the pads. This is my ochre made out of resin that uh, actually Chris Cabal sent me. These are made by, this is a collab between Damon Kirkmeyer and Chris Cabal. My understanding is that Damon turned the original shape and then Chris made a mold out of it to make the resin versions. And these are really cool. They're, they're a little different in shape than all the rest. They play really cool because of that, but and then also the resin makes it a little different as well. And once again, I have the Lobros pads because they end up working perfectly for this. And uh, this is one of my favorites for sure. So check out Ochre. I think he still has some of the, the second batch of the white ones and the clear ones on his website. So go check those out. And then of course we have the Kururin that my brother and I make, the Lobros Kururin. This is our standard one that comes in maple. But recently we've also made a bunch of like cool colors, like we painted them, um, which doesn't affect play at all, but it, it just kind of adds some unique colors. And of course, I'm certainly biased for our Kururin. I think that the shape we have is the best. It rolls the smoothest. I love these things. They're super fun. So I got a bunch of them. It's ridiculous. I have all these cool colored ones like gold and green. I got this awesome pink one that's... Uh, we recently made, we made a super small batch and you guys are missing out. People don't even realize how cool these are. We made some of these little bro Kururin and they're the same, they're the same like shape, but they're like 80% smaller. So they roll and play perfectly, but they, they take up a lot less room and you can use them on a smaller desk surface because you have room for them to roll. So these guys are really neat. We only have a few of these. So yeah, that's kind of my collection. I'm not showing you all of the Lobros ones because I have a ton of them. Please excuse this self-promotional plug here at the end. We have a crazy sale on our Etsy website where we're selling all of our regular Kururin, all of our Little Bro Kururin, and then all of our pins, our three pins, which is the Lunar Pin, the White and Blue Pin, and the original pin for 50% off. So I'm not sure how long we're gonna run the sale, but it's pretty awesome. You can grab, you know, two of these guys. You can grab two of these guys for the price of just one of a lot of other Kudrin out there. So um, if you haven't checked ours out, if you haven't checked, if you haven't checked out the Lobros Kudrins, definitely check them out because it's fun to compare and play with a different Kudrin. It's also fun to play with more than one at a time. This table is a bad idea. Definitely check out ours if you haven't already. And also definitely I would recommend you supporting and checking out the originals from Comcell. You can get those on Kendama USA's website. And I think they might be making a another website for the Comcell ones as well. This is a weird video, but I appreciate you guys watching it. And yeah, head over to Lobro's Etsy website if you want some cheap Kururin and some awesome pins. Uh, that sale's going on for a limited time or until we're, we sell out. So thanks for joining me, guys. One more quick note. The painted Kudurins, we have more of those. They're not on the website right now because we're not including them in our sale. But if you want one of those, they are available if you want to contact me or my brother, Instagram or whatever, just get in contact with us and we can get you one of those painted ones as well. But the, uh, the regular ones are all 50% off.